most beloved Presidente. Do you remember Tropico? Emerald palm trees, platinum beaches, and crystalline seas, from which the sun reflects like the twinkling of jewels and golden coins. It is I, Presidente, Penultimo, your faithful aide, your biggest fan. I chronicled your triumphs. Fear not, for nothing was written down. Penultimo never forgets, unless he is told to, of course. So, let us enjoy these stories of the past. And what better place to start than the time you first met your loyal Penultimo, oh most successful Presidente. It was like the first sunrise of my life. Hello there. You must be the new governor. I'm Lord Wyndham, voice of the crown, and it's your job to do as I say. Until your mandate runs out, at least.
I have new instructions. I mean, suggestions. The plantation's growing nicely, I take it? Hmm? Filthy thing, nature. But there's money in it. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify being mean? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. Viva la revolución! Together, Governor... is so rife, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes.
Your distillery seems to be working. Quick tip, Governor. It's best not to sample your own tipple, if you get my meaning. Hmm? Jolly good. It's my job to fully exploit these islands, insignificant as they are. Or bananas, giant apes, dinosaurs, whatever has monetary value. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. Just to see the expression on his face. Governor, the people have a request. Our revolution is as yet only m
cruel, salty sea. She burns the lungs of young Penultimo. The sensation is quite unpleasant. You're doing splendidly, Governor. Oh, by the way, I don't suppose you've seen any valuable metal on your travels? Any gold? No? Imagine my joy at being back on an island with brick buildings and indoor plumbing and at having someone to talk to who is not a coconut. <laughs> My governor, we must talk, but not too loudly, as walls have ears, and not too softly, or we shall not hear one another, and we will be forced to repeat ourselves. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify... Tropico has many proud traditions. Take criminals, for instance. Ever since these islands were settled by our founding felons, Tropicans have taken a progressive attitude towards those of morally eccentric behavior. What better way to expand the population than to show the courage of our convictions? Better still, since nobody else wants these particular convicts, we'll get paid to take them.
our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but... I must say, I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. is so I've got More, Governor, more, always more. Hop to it, the Crown demands. Revolution! Together... Governor, I have successfully milked my former coconut friends for all they're worth. And there is so much more I can do for you. Why are you wasting your time here? All I see is coconuts. And I hate coconuts. Vile, furry, sloshing things. The Crown's advisors commissioned an inventory of your island's resources. This expensive survey suggests that you have many trees. I suppose that we should do something with all that spare wood, don't you think? Maybe burn it? Hmm? Everyone likes a bonfire.
Governor, the people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret. So, it seems that we are unable to find gold. The Crown isn't angry, Governor. The Crown is merely disappointed. La Revolución! Governor, the people have a request.
Ahoy, Governor! Or is it Avast? There is still so much to learn about piracy. I mean, undocumented trade. Good work, Governor. The palm tree population of the island is much reduced. And I, for one, am sleeping better because of it. Good job, old chum. That wharf is practically sagging under the weight of cold, wet, slippery fishies. think we'd ever get back to Tropico. Governor, you mine gold for the cause and so earn my respect, but, but shh. It is a respect that must remain secret. Oh, savior of my unworthy life, let me prove my value. Penultimo is sneaky, Penultimo is clever, and Penultimo knows which side his bread is buttered.
Governor, the people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Our revolution is as yet. The rich are always looking for a good way to make a quick buck. And they've hit upon the great untaxed opportunity that is Sunday Mass. Charge the punters to go in! When the Padres complain, point them to Matthew 22, 21 and look smug. The congregation won't be too happy, but who can resist the opportunity to turn profits into profits?
our revolution is as yet. I'm glad you're exporting goods, Governor, but I've been watching the dock workers, and do you know, I think they might be lazy. Governor, this is one of the sneakiest coconut-related gold smuggling plans I have ever participated in. I've been chatting with the king, and we agree you're doing well. Making money, what? But life's not all work, you know. Culture's the thing for people in power. What a lovely theatre! My playwright has nearly finished the story of your life. We just need a really dramatic ending. Governor, we must now attend the theatre. It is possible that this is not a trap. It is also possible that I will one day be king of the world. should come to me. Governor, the people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Our revolution is as yet only marge. Oh, 
Governor. I am shot. Oh, alas, poor penultimo. As I reached for the peanuts, something went bang, then bang again. Nine more times. Ben Ultimo is a national hero. We respect those who get shot for the cause. Some of us hope to get shot ourselves one day. We are prepared for invasion, my governor. And here they come. I hope they are slow, so we can snipe them from afar. Oh, governor, you look so pretty today. Oh, sorry, I have been bleeding a little since I was shot and my head feels very light. Time. We no longer whisper, but rather shout revolution from the rooftops today. We demand, uh, politely, to be free. Something does not feel quite right, Governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. My Governor. The people are filled with bile. Their hate of the crown is making them sick. Or the people are very happy with their... The people of Tropico love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite taste. Feisty little colony, aren't we? We'll try not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. I ask myself, Governor. La revolución! Together!
corruption is so rife, Governor. Where is Penultimo hiding, huh? Well, I suppose you did rather well, for a bunch of savages.
governor. You did it. Alas, let us savor the sweet taste of freedom. Mmm. Mmm. It, it tastes a bit like coconut. And so, the story is told. That is how we met, Presidente. The most important time of my life. I still have the assassin's bullets, you know. I keep them close to my heart. Who would imagine that such a story would be only a minor chapter in somebody's life? But you, most celebrated Presidente, your life has seen adventure enough for a hundred normal people. A thousand! But those are stories for another day. Now old Penultimo is tired. Old Penultimo will sleep and dream of your past glories, my Presidente. You have done it, Presidente. Victory is ours. I mean, victory is yours. Thank you.